Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai, Bashim Raka Kodash, if you give me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into casting out your demons. Casting out your demons. Okay? And we all deal with demons, man. Every single one of you, man. Okay, there's not one Israelite walking on the earth that does not deal with demons within themselves. Okay? If you say you don't, then you're a liar. You're calling your how about you a liar. Okay? Basically, you're saying that Yahweh Shah came down here for no reason. All right? And that's not true. Okay? Now, when we read Proverbs 18 and 10, I'm going to read it again. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. Now, we know this is a spiritual war. This is not a carnal war. Okay? So, you're not physically going to go find a tower somewhere, a high tower, for safety. No, this is a spiritual war. Okay? So... How do we run to this tower in the spirit? That's the question you should be asking yourself. How do you run to the safe tower in the spirit? You got to do something, man. You got to do an action, okay? It says the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai is a strong tower, okay? So you got to call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai on a whole nother level to be safe, Okay? Now, let's go to Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Right, man. In the ancient world, if you don't have walls, the enemy can come in very quickly. In this situation, the enemy is demons that we deal with. Okay. Diverse demons. Okay. That try to enter in your mind. Okay. They can come in. But they also can be cast out. And you got to have faith to believe this, man. This is about faith. You got to believe in your how about you, shot and understand that safe tower. OK, because remember, we're not physically going to go find one. This is in the mind. OK, the war is in the mind. Let's read it again. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. So if you can't rule your spirit. Okay, to call upon Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, in an instant, in a second, right away. Once you see and once you feel those demons on you, okay, you hear those wicked thoughts in your mind, those are demons, contrary thoughts to righteousness, you have an ability right there to do what? Call upon the name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim or Kakradash. You can rebuke those demons right away with pure power, all right? The safe tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. How do you run? You're not physically running. You're doing something in the spirit. And you're calling upon that name so that you can be safe. Because that name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is the safe tower. Okay? But you got to rule your spirit and pay attention. Because these demons don't take breaks. So while you're sitting there chilling, relax, doing what you want to do, you will sit there and you will have some wicked thoughts. And you know they're wicked, but you ain't doing nothing about it, man. You're not calling upon the name or anything, man. Okay? What do you think the demon does with that? All right? You have a demon that has a job to specifically distract you so that other demons can come in. The pride demon, the depressed demon, okay, the sad demon, the woe me demon, all kinds of demons, man, diverse demons, man. Okay? But they need to get you distracted first. So you can't be distracted to really, really focus on this and have that pinpoint accuracy. OK, in the spirit, man, we're talking about being more accurate in the spirit. OK, so you got to rule your spirit, man. All right. We're in the spiritual war. Let's go to Ephesians chapter six, starting at verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, in the power of his might, his name, the strong tower. OK, put on the whole armor of your how about shy that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What does the wiles mean? Tricks, the cunning tricks of the devil, man. The devil, these demons are finding different ways to do what? To enter into your mind. OK, to enter into your mind. But you don't have to let them come in. 
Once you see that they're trying to get in, you can cast them out and keep them at bay. And you can keep doing that. It's when we get relaxed, okay? If we don't use that safe tower. Those demons can take root in your spirit, in your mind, okay? Just imagine you got a garden, right? And you're growing, you know, say some watermelon, some whatever, corn, whatever, okay? Once those vegetables start growing, then you might see weeds and you got to pick those weeds out because it can get all tangled up and it can slow down the progress of the growth. Now your watermelon is not that big. It's not that fruitful. It's not that sweet. OK, that represents us. OK, blooming. OK, our full potential in the spirit, even though we're in this flesh. All right. The scriptures talk about growing, man, the inward man. See, this is about that stronger inward man that's aligned with your how about you might shine that power. Okay, let's read it again. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of your Bashim Abishai that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is not a carnal war. Okay, you're not going to a real tower in the physical that you're going to run upstairs and, you know, it says, but against principalities, evil spirits, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. OK, do you hear that spiritual wickedness in high places and those demons are looking for a place to dwell in, man? OK, they're looking to come into your mind. OK, but they have to answer to your how about you, shot. OK, they know that. So when they're trying to get in your mind with these all these different wicked thoughts and grimy and just contrary thoughts to righteousness. And they see that you ain't doing nothing about it. You're not fighting right away. You're being lazy. You're being laxed. You're too comfortable to fight them on that level. They like, man, this nigga's not fighting on that level. He chilling. This nigga watching the game or he's doing this or he's doing that. You know what they do? They start coming in and coming in and coming in. And the longer you wait, the more they come in, the more they try to take root. The more they take root, the more it's harder to get those demons out. Because you be going in circles, okay? They got your mind all twisted up with all kinds of thoughts because multiple demons have entered in, okay? They can come in, but they can get cast out, okay? And you can leave them out. Even though they try to give you that thought, that's them trying to enter in, okay? Anytime you have that wicked-ass thought out of nowhere, that's a demon coming in trying to settle. So what do you do? Do you just sit there and continue to eat your burger or watch your game or... Whatever you're doing in your life, no, man. You call upon your Haobashim Abishai and you rebuke that demon in the name of your Haobashim Abishai, Bashim, or Kodash. And you do it quickly. Okay? And I've been doing this, man, for the past days. And when I tell you I feel great, I feel great. You know, I've been doing this myself. You know, I probably rebuked Satan maybe a hundred times, man, in a day. Because I'm focused on that level because I'm seeing... How these demons operate. Yahweh Shemah is giving me the spirit, slowing things down, and I'm really fighting in a whole nother, almost like a whole nother realm, but I'm on the earth. You see what I'm saying? That's how it feels when you take it to this level that I'm reading about. Okay? So it says, spiritual wickedness in high places, verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Shemah Okay? And the whole armor is faith, full trust and faith in Yahweh Shemah and his name and the power and understanding the power. OK, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. That's faith. OK, because we're not justified by the law and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all. Check this out. Above all, taking the shield of faith. What does a shield do? Protect you. Okay, is that shield a physical shield? No, that shield is your how about you, Shai, that strong tower. Okay, so when those demons try to come in and you quickly and you're on it, you're on your spiritual war game, you understand that you're in a real war, you can quickly bounce those demons out. Boom, boom, boom. If you have the faith enough to take it to that level, if you have the focus enough to take it to that level. And if you say you don't and you feel you don't and you know you don't, well, then you got to move something out the way. You have to move whatever it is. Okay, you know what it is. 
You got to move it out the way so you can start fighting on that level and watch the result. Okay? You're going to have a lot more, and I mean a lot more, of the Holy Spirit on you. You're going to feel that power. And you can feel the demons leave. Okay? You can feel the demons leave, man. Okay? And sometimes you will hear it. Real talk through the Spirit. Sometimes you will hear it, man. Okay, you might cast them out real hard. Sometimes you got to say it more than once, more than three times, and you can feel it leave. Okay, and then you continue on what you're doing, and then it'll come back and try to do something else, and you do it again. Boom, 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 boom. Keep them at bay, and you can feel them leave. Okay, the scriptures say, resist the devil and he shall flee. When you resist something, you're fighting. Okay, so this is about taking that fight in the spirit, Okay, in faith with the name of Yahweh Bashim Abishai on another level. All right. Back at verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. All the fiery darts. So the devil, these demons are shooting at you. They're trying to get into your mind. That's how they do it. And you're quenching them. Okay, with the faith, that shield in the name. Okay, which makes you safe. That's that strong tower. OK, and think about all the things you are accomplishing doing this, man. It shows your faith. And your how about you, your trust and your how about you, and their name and the power. OK, that makes you strong. That's why it says the just shall live by faith. OK, so you quenching all the fiery darts. OK, verse 17 and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of your how about you, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. OK, now let's go to Luke chapter four. I'm going to get to the point. I'm going to start at verse 30. But he passing through the midst of them, went his way and came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. Right, and that power is with faith and understanding, knowledge, and power and wisdom. All right? Verse 33. And in the synagogue, there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, that Yahawashah of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? So the demons are talking to Yahawashah. Okay? So that name is power. They understand that. So right here, the demons is talking to Yahweh Shai, telling him, you coming to destroy us? So when you, as an individual Israelite, that believe in the name Yahweh Shai, imagine what that does when you have that with power and faith. That's that shield. When they coming in, trying to enter your brain, trying to take root, trying to settle there. If you're very quick and you're paying attention in the spirit, see, that's walking in the spirit. You're going to see huge results, okay? That fogginess you've been feeling is going to go away, okay? And they're going to try to come back and try to bring that fogginess, but you got that shield. You can start fighting them on another level. You see what I'm saying? That's how that works. It says, are thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of Yahweh." Right, and the demons know us. Verse 35, and Yahweh shall rebuked him, saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the mix, he came out of him and hurt him not. Okay, so these are real spirits, man. <laughs> That's what Jake got to understand. These are real spirits that are in you. When you ain't feeling right, when you ain't thinking right, that's an evil spirit. That's what that is. Okay? Jake could sit there with an evil spirit. Don't do nothing about it, man. Just sit there and just go in circles with the demon. Why are you doing that when you got the name? All right, back at verse 35, hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the mix, he came out of him and hurt him not. And they were all amazed and spoke among themselves, saying, what a word is this? For with authority and power, with authority and power, he commanded the unclean spirits and they come out. OK, and he gave us that same power through his name. So if you don't believe and you don't have faith in that shield, ain't nothing going to happen. You're just going to go in circles with the demons. And they know that. They, they understand that, man. 
Okay? Those demons are very smart. Let's go to Luke chapter 10, starting at verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents. He talking to the disciples, man. Okay? I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Right, man. Okay, that you're written to even have that power to do that. Okay, but the point is, we do have that power, those of you who believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? That's why Yahweh Shai spoke about moving mountains. Okay, and he explained that to the disciples. He explained that to the disciples when they couldn't cast a demon out. And they asked him why. He said, because of your unbelief. So we got the power, man. The power is there for us to reach it and grab it. Okay? And use it on another level and watch your spirit, man. Okay? This should take you to a whole nother level and fight in mind. Okay? In your spiritual health, I should say. Okay? So with that, I hope you were edified, man. Cast those demons out, man. Cast your demons out, man. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha, Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elves of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh, that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.